Okay, the anniversary celebrations continue. Uh, now we're uh, having a parade from the Home for At-Risk Children and we're walking down to the clinic. We have, as you can see, we have a police escort. Uh, help me. I'm scared of them. Okay. He's taking his picture too. Let's see. Here's the start of our parade. Oops. Here's the start of the parade. Saluden al mundo. Mundo Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Saluden al mundo. Mundo de Facebook. Ephraim, I'm trying to film right now, okay? Saludos. Al mundo Facebook. Hola, buenos dias. So here's our little parade. <laughs> Pastora Drupal, <laughs> saludos. <laughs> Al Mundo Facebook. So we got police escort and we're just making a parade to, to celebrate. Celebrate four years. Four year anniversary of the Home for at -risk Children. As well as today, we're also celebrating a five year anniversary of the medical clinic. So it's a exciting day get to this point our uh, programs in Kayambe have grown uh, over the years uh, all in partnership with the Evangelical Covenant Church of Ecuador everything is uh, led and directed by our ministry partners here uh, Santiago partnership uh, plays a sm small role in uh, being a part of this um, but we're so happy uh, to now include five programs. Uh, we of course have the medical clinic, which was uh, started, ah, there's Esther. <laughs> we have the medical clinic, which was uh, started in 2016. The Home for Hours Children, uh, which was opened 2017. And then since then, we have three more programs uh, that have all been initiated. Uh, two uh, with the support of uh, the Ecuadorian government, which has come alongside to help us uh, start uh, two different community-based programs. Uh, one called the Prevention Program, uh, which works at a community level, uh, preventing uh, the need for the home, so working with at-risk children, at-risk families in the communities as well as we have the intervention program, which again, which was help initiated by the Ecuadorian government, in which uh, the intervention program works in a way more individually with families uh, that would be considered at risk. Again, with the idea of preventing the need for children to come to the home. And then uh, finally, uh, through sponsorship of Covenant World Relief and Development of the Evangelical Covenant Church, We've started a public health program. Uh, so those are the five programs that uh, consist of uh, this amazing project in Cayambe, Cayam Ecuador. And I could say that as uh, the founder, co-founder, executive director of the Santiago Partnership, that it is an amazing project because I do very little. <laughs> so I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm just uh, giving all the the praise and glory to God first, but secondly to our ministry partners, the uh, members of the Evangelical Covenant Church of Ecuador. So it's an exciting day for us, so hope you're able to tune in and, and help us celebrate. For those of you that have uh, come to Cayambe before, maybe you know this road between uh, between the Home for Hours Children and the clinic, the little walk down. Some of you maybe have taken this walk before. So we're just taking a little stroll down the, the mountain road here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hola, hola, hola. Mm -hmm. 
Hola, hola. Ay, ay. Ya. Pretty typical day here, weather-wise, in Cayambe. Of course, got the dogs barking. ¿Cómo estamos? <ríe> Muy bien. Muy bien. Póngase en un ladito. Cuidado a este lado. Here's some of the beautiful ladies of our project. <laughs> So our uh, keynote speaker for today will be Kim Delp, co-founder of the Santiago Partnership. Kim, do you want to enlighten us a little bit as to what you'll be sharing today? All about women. All right. All right. Women. <laughs> and some of them are in the yeah, Bible. Yeah, and women in the Bible. That's right. Good point, yeah, Esther. Because your, your name comes from a woman in the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's an important, important topic. You know that all but three of our employees of the project are women, and the vast majority of the folks uh, that take a part of our project or part of the services are women. Uh, we've seen that the role of the woman in, in the work that we do is is just crucial. It's just what keeps us moving forward. So, uh, it was Rolando's uh, decision that he wanted Kim to share about the role of a woman uh, here on this special day. You kids want to say hi? Hi! I'm Esther. <laughs> What's your name? I'm not oh, I can't see you though. I'm Esther. Give me Esther. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. I love it. Mm. Hey. Tú, ¿Cómo te llamas? Yeah. Uh, vamos. All right, I think we're gonna sign off for right now, but we'll we'll tune in again a little bit later once we're down at the uh, Coliseum, a uh, big soccer stadium uh, that Pastor Jose and his his uh, his church have built. Uh, we're gonna do one more live video and share with you from there. So uh, we'll sign off for now, but we'll see you again in a few minutes. Yeah.